Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 25th to the 31st, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, so thank you. And if you're interested in the private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. Also, all the instructions are in the description box below, so check that out as well. Yeah, I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Leo, let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels. We have the nine of swords reversed the magician reversed interesting ten of swords reversed i'm not surprised at that angels the five of swords angels and spirit guides show me clearly interesting the page of swords the two of swords the two of pentacles the Six of Swords reversed. The Two of Pentacles reversed. The Six of Pentacles reversed. The Four of Wands reversed. The Devil reversed. Angels. Ooh. And Spirit Guides. Show me clearly. The Five of Swords reversed. And the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay. Man, this is going to be one heck of a week. This is going to be one heck of a week here. Yeah, Leo. And you have like so many swords. It's like, it's all this, this side heavy. It's so interesting. So what we're going to see here is this real sense of you being a student of your voice, meaning that this is going to be a week that forces you to stand up for yourself in one way or another, forces you to embrace your voice, to embrace what you desire, to embrace what you want. You're leaving behind addictions, doubts, fears, you know, hurts, pains, disappointments, things that have kept you really, really, really held back and like beaten down. And now you're going to see yourself reborn. Don't listen to everybody else's idea of their magic idea of like, Oh, this is what you should be. No, this is what you should be. It is time to, to know that what you are thinking, okay. Your mind. Okay. As above, so below, as you think it, so it becomes your mind is so powerful. And right now you're releasing so much hurt and pain. Like so much is being cleansed that this is, this is like, this is an unbelievable week. It is unbelievable. Okay. So let's see what spirit has to say. Now, if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, you have to do three things, Leo. You have to like, you have to comment with a butterfly. So I know you want to be in the running for a reading and you have to subscribe. So like, comment, and subscribe, comment with a butterfly, and you will be in the running to receive a free reading. A winner is announced every Sunday, so good luck to everyone, angels and spirit guides. So here we have ready but waiting reversed. And that 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 sums us up. You know, it is like it's like you know, I'm not ready. I feel overwhelmed. I'm, I'm doubting myself. I'm questioning. Do I even know what's right anymore? It's almost like there's something that happens during this time that that hits your confidence. It can be you get into a fight with somebody. I there could be a review at work. There can be you know, there there's just something that comes out and it's like, oh wow, oh wow, am I 
am I off kilter? Okay. So just being aware of this. And then once we like pull back and we say, I'm not listening to you, we realize I'm ready and waiting. I'm ready and waiting to spread my wings, to fly, to move forward in my peace, in my prosperity, in my success, in myself. It moves us then to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading. This is forgiveness reverse. This is the heart chakra. And here it's like, it's staying in the past. It's not forgiving. And I always see this as, you know, Marley in a Christmas Carol who says, I built these chains one by one when he talks to Scrooge. And here with forgiveness, it is releasing the chains, which is exactly what the devil is reversed is having us do. It's like release the chains, release the chains. So it's the chains of the heart. So being aware of that, tapping over our, our heart can be very beneficial for us releasing, you know, releasing hurt, like thinking of the past and just seeing it wash away, like wash away the hurt, wash away the pain, wash away the disappointments. That can also be very important. Bouncing. I know that sounds really silly. If you can't bounce, you can visualize yourself bouncing or you can bounce in your seat if you can't get up. And I know that might sound funny to do, but it helps. It helps balance your chi energy, your chakra energy, and that's going to be really beneficial. It moves us then to the energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Yeah. <laughs> My gosh, Leo, this week is holding no punches. Be mindful that we're having a tower week. Okay, just, just be aware of it. We can see it with all the reverse cards, but one. And that the Ace of Cups is reverse. There's a healing coming in, but we're like afraid to trust our hearts again. We're afraid to really step into our emotions and say, this is my safe space. Like I'm, I'm safe when I, when I believe in myself. There's almost a sense of like, man, I messed up or like this didn't go right or this isn't, you know, the way I thought it would be. How can I trust my judgment? How can I, how can I stand in my power again? And spirits like stand in your power again. That's how you do it. You stand in your power again. You've gone through a tower time. Everybody goes through tower times. They're not fun. Nobody likes them. You know, even when people go through tower times that others look at and they're like, oh, that's totally benign, right? Oh, that wasn't a big deal. You know, a tower time can be getting married. A tower time can be having a kid. A tower time can be, you know, getting a new job. You know, a tower time can be something that everybody celebrates you for, but it shakes you to your core. It, it's overwhelming. You're afraid. It's, it's a lot. So being aware of this and then learning to trust your heart again that's going to be so transformative for you. Because what strikes me here is the magician reversed. As above, so below. As we think it, so it becomes. And when we have the Nine of Swords, we're releasing worry, doubt, and fear. The Ten of Swords, which is overkill, we're releasing the overkill. We're starting to see ourselves in a very different light. This is the Five of Wands. This is after the heartbreak, the pain, the disappointment, the, the arguing. It's like, oh, wow. Now I stand in a different place. And it brings us then to the five of swords reverse where we don't see ourselves as a different person. And spirit's like, oh my gosh, but you are. It's like smacking its our forehead. It's like, you are though, Leo. You are a completely different person. You're not where you once were. And that is astounding. Move away from the battling, but also you're fiercely ready for it. Like, it's like, if I can survive this, if I can go through this, then like, you know, you're tougher than iron type of thing, but also embracing the loving compassion. I mean, then you're just like, you're so fierce. You're, you're the lion. You're the lion, Leo. You will be embracing the lion self. And it moves us then to this place where we need to see ourselves as not caught in the addictions, not caught in the, in the chaos and the darkness of it. You know, the devil is, is the darkness. However, the darkness manifests in your life. It is the darkness is the chaos. And it's us trying to keep the chaos at bay again, however that is, instead of saying chaos is a part of existence, you know, it's kind of like not weeding a garden. The gardens become overrun with weeds almost instantaneously. And it's like rude. It's rude. So just being aware of that, it moves us to releasing lies. There are so many lies that we have told ourselves that others have told us. Now we're starting to see our magic. Now it is time to look and say, okay, this week, not a celebration week. It's not like a like big wins type of week. Even if you have big wins during this week, Leo, and this isn't to stress you out. It is just to say that the big wins will come and it'll be like, okay, well, how do I do this now? 
and it'll all of a sudden like be straight to problem solving. You won't even celebrate it. So spirit is saying, hey, celebrate the wins, but we're, it's going to be very easy for us not to because there's so much we need to get done. There's so much that we're focused on. The six of pentacles reverse is needing to be in balance with prosperity, with money, with what we value as much as money. And we've been, we've been juggling things for too long. We've, you know, found ourselves being very overwhelmed and it's like, okay, I have to do this. I have to do that. And then we feel like I just dropped the ball. I just, I just dropped the ball. How could I have fumbled this? And how, and how is it all so chaotic? This is going to be a week that when it's done, you're like, bye, <laughs> bye. Like, you know, I'm so glad you're not here anymore. And then it is going to be a week that you look back and you're like, oh, wow, it kick started like the rest of my year. It kick started, you know, how I'm going to handle 2025. You know, it kick started so much for me and it is amazing. So this is a fierce week. It is a fierce week. It is an intense week. It tries you, it tests you type of week, but it has you rising out of darkness in a way that if it was easy, you know, you never would have been transformed. Fire transforms. You're ruled by fire. It's, it's not easy, but it's imperative. It moves us to our subconscious spirit message, which here is alchemy reverse. Just like the magician reverse, we're not seeing our magic. We're not seeing ourselves. You know, it's kind of like, oh, no, look at everything that I've done wrong. It's like, okay, everybody messes up. Some people mess up real bad, right? And some people mess up just a little bit. <laughs> so, you know, looking at ourselves and embracing the transformation of us, that's important. It moves us then to our chakra message, which is rebirth. This is the root chakra. This is not the root chakra. This is the earth star chakra. I always see it as roots, you know, going into the earth. So here, this is the earth star chakra located six inches below our feet. This is us being reborn. This is the pressure. So a butterfly is reborn in the most beautiful way. So when you have a little, you know, caterpillar build its cocoon and go, go into its cocoon, right? When that cocoon starts to break open, we can sit there and think, oh, I'm being so compassionate. I'm going to help the cocoon break open. But the pressure of the butterfly having to break out of the cocoon sets its wings somehow. It calibrates its wings. If we help that, that butterfly by opening it up and saying, oh, little butterfly, now you're free. You know, step forward. The butterfly will never fly. This time is making you fly. And it's extraordinary. What you have been through, your tower time, is bringing you to a place of power and tenacity and fierceness that you could not have imagined. It brings us then to the Three of Swords. Be mindful of heartbreaks. Be mindful of, of just kind of like being like, well, it's always just going to be heartbreak and pain. And Spirit's like, no, it's not. It is absolutely not. It is absolutely not always going to be heartbreak and pain. This is freeing you from darkness. This is... This is like looking at the shadows, looking at the doubt, looking at the fear. And then all of a sudden, it's that moment where you can't explain it, but somehow like the mist starts to part and the darkness, like somebody flips on the light switch and you're like, oh, it's not all sad anymore. Oh, there's such beauty to come. And that's what you're heading to, such beauty to come. And you're seeing it now. Because again, this here, this reverse, the nine of swords reverse, the 10 of swords reverse, the seven of swords reverse, it's all releasing the darkness. And it brings you here to the sense with the five of swords reverse. It's like, you're not the same person you once were. Stop thinking you were because you're not, the game has changed. It moves us to our subconscious tarot message, which is the, oh, I think that's so funny. The queen of cups reversed. The Eight of Cups reverse, emotional manipulation. Be mindful of it. Also be mindful of not trusting your heart. Okay, water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. All right, all right, Leo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy, as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless and have a blessed week. Bye.